We have got a project today, and it has to do with something new and exciting that came in the mail yesterday. But first, we have to clean up this. I've got this nice little area down in basement, and I'm going to set this bench up over here that was here when I moved in. Pretty darn sturdy. We're going to make it even more sturdy. Um, but we've got to get all this crap off of it and anchor some plywood down to the top of it and uh, pretty much make the whole thing more sturdy. So uh, we're going to clean things up. Things are progressing a little bit. Uh, we are tightening down this table here. Uh, just firming it up. I'm going to take some measurements and we'll see if we can get this table top cut up. And I need to hang a light right up here so that I have light directly on my bench when it's not daylight and uh, there's light going in through the window. I desperately need to wire in here, but for now, the light is rednecked in place and we've got great light over the bench. We should be able to load over here, no problem. Silly me, or uh, stupid me, as you might say. The bolts I got um, are not long enough. I haven't thought about doubling up these 2x4s before. So, these, this is just a sim simulation of about the thickness of the plywood. The bolt is just barely long enough uh, to go through all of these, but once you add the press, um, it'd be clear up here, so that's not going to fly. What I'm going to do, um, I think this is going to be sturdy enough without this board. If I need it, I will drill it, I'll buy longer bolts, and we'll mount it up then, if I need it. Um, who knows if we even will. <laughs> Okay, this is just to get kind of an idea of how it's going to go on here. We're still waiting for drill batteries to charge, and I'm trying to get an idea as to just how to cut my plywood. Because I have this sheet of three-quarter inch plywood, which is actually, they're now listing it at Lowe's 23, 30 seconds, which I think is dumb. Um, but anyway, $35 sheet of plywood. I really only want to have to cut it once. Uh... So just kind of getting an idea of how this is going to work. Gives me plenty of throw. This thing is spaced really well. One thing, and I'll talk about this later, that led me to purchase the Hornady press rather than the others is this angle right here. I am right-handed, so I will use the lever with my right hand, and I'll stick shells in with my left hand. Having this side open and not having to reach around the bar to stick the shell in is a huge part of why I chose this Hornady press. Um, also, uh, I'll get to the reasons why I chose it over a turret press later. But anyway, I just have it clamped in place right now, checking for function, full range of motion, and we're going to uh, Hopefully uh, get some measurements and cut the plywood here. Um, what I really want to do, and this is probably not going to happen because I probably can't afford it, but what I'd really like to do is cover the whole tabletop, at least the area I'm using for reloading in a sheet of aluminum, uh, just to make everything super smooth, to make the powder uh, brush off easily if it gets spilled, to make it salvageable. Uh, right now all we're going to have is this rough plywood. And bo bam there we go. Um, I had planned to come and extend it out past this edge, but turns out this is, and I didn't realize this before, but it is uh, longer than eight feet. So that's all that it went. That's the whole, uh, the whole length of the plywood. Have you ever tried to freehand cut a three-quarter inch thick sheet of plywood freehand with a circular saw. Not recommended, but it's what I had to do because my saw horses were stolen right before I moved out of uh, the apartment that we lived in before we bought this house. Okay, y'all are going to be seeing this as I do it. I've got the press mounted. It's on the bench. Everything's good and solid. I've got half inch bolts going through. I have not opened the packages. I have assembled the, the press. I'm going to try to set my camera up so y'all can see it as I do this. We're gonna go for it. 
So here I have the uh, the Hornady lock and load bushings. Never touched one before. Let's uh, let's see how they go. I just need one of them for now. Like I said, my goal my goal is to decap one nine mil casing. There's the bushing. There's our one nine mil Luger casing. Put all the rest of this aside. So I'm just gonna check out and see how this. Uh... Oh, you know what? I better not pop this bushing in without a die in it. I might not get it back out very easy. All right, let's open up my set of Hornady dies. I got the Hornady dies because they were a good value. Uh, they're on sale. They got good reviews. And uh, they're offering right now a uh, 100 free bullets with each set of die set of dies. So I figured it was worth a shot. I haven't reloaded in quite a while, and the only case I've reloaded for before was 9mm. That was my on my my dad's reloading setup uh, several years ago, back when I still lived with him. All right, so here is the die set. You can see it there. Uh, this is really, really nice looking stuff. Uh, I've got a seating stem right in here. Uh, oh, there's a spot for the shell holder in here. That's kind of nice. It's even Oops, I knew I was going to do that. It's even uh, labeled in there. You probably can't see it, but it's labeled for the shell holder. Unfortunately, these don't come with the shell holders. I did have to buy these separate. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this appears to be the... Yeah, that looks like a seat and crimps. Uh, oh, yeah. They're labeled under where they are. Uh, expander button. And... Oh, duh. It'd be the one with the decapper on it. So I'm just going to screw this down a little ways. And lock it in place. All right. Um, all I know about the seating guy. Oh, I got threaded into the bushing. This is going to take a little getting used to. And that's not going to tighten. Which, uh, oh, brain fart. Okay, I'm a newbie here, and it's really going to show. I don't have a shell holder in here. Give me 10 seconds while I go get a shell holder. And we have a shell holder. Uh, I had put the uh, hand primer together to test it and put the shell holder right in here. So I'm just going to pop this shell holder out. All right, there we go. Hey, something tells me that's going to work a little bit. Yeah. Okay, ram's up. This is down. I'm going to push it against. All right, it's tightened. I'm just decapping one. So we're going to go for it. All right, everything's lining up. It's going in. All right. Our decapping pin is not set low enough. It said to put it 3 16 out, I guessed. Then turn it down a little lower. Out came the primer. 